Well, what I got today is a Canon EOS M6 vlogging camera that I got from the gray market. Now, there's a few gray markets out there. You can do eBay. This is E-Infinity. There's also T-Dimension and E-Global. But I will talk about the gray market in a little bit. I want to like really look at this camera first. So let's take a quick look and um, when you look when you look at the box you, you know they have the shipping label and I ordered this Thursday of last week Thursday evening and today is Thursday so with the weekend it was seven f full days so that was very quick from Hong Kong so when you pick up the box and you shake it you can hear it's not very very tightly sealed so I'm a little concerned about that but let's open it first and take a look at it and see uh, what it looks like now I know people are gonna say gray market blah 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 and I have things to say about it but I think we need to look at the camera first before I start talking about the gray market in general. So, this is going to take me some time to open because, uh, oh, there we go. I'm going to be, it's going to be really tough here. It's really tightly packed with all of this stuff. So, Maybe I will fast forward through all of this so you don't have to see me go through all this. Oh, here we go. All right. Let's take a quick look at the uh, box itself. So there you go. There is the M6 box. So it looks a little beat up here. And um, it's the black version, which is what I ordered with the lens right here. All right, well, let's take a look at it. And let's hope it's not all broken and beat up. All right, so we've got the manual. And the manual is, it's in English. So this has an English manual. All right, so what we got going on here? Well, we've got a uh, charger here. And it does say Canon on it. Now, is this an original Canon? Well, it looks pretty original to me. Now, since I, you know, I don't have the US version, I can't say, well, it's exactly. But anyway, what do we got here? We've got a power cable to plug it in, and this has the uh, United States plug-in. All right. What we got going on here? Okay, so now we've got the lens. And I forgot to smell it. Hang on, let me smell. Oh man, it definitely smells new. Now, it was probably open, but still smells new okay so we've got the lens let's take a look to see if the if it's broken or anything okay that side's not broken and this is not broken okay so the lens itself is not broken so that's a good thing we'll just put that over here in fact we'll just set that to the side all right and what else do we got over here? Okay, so we have the battery. Let's open the battery up because 
basically I'm going to have to turn it on. Hang on, having little problems with the battery. Okay, so there's the battery. It says Canon on it. So, is it a genuine Canon battery? Looks to me like it. All right, now we're going to get. Oh, wait a second. What else we got here? Oh, we have a Canon strap. So that's legit. And now the meat and potatoes of it all. The actual camera itself. Let me set this aside. All right, let's take a look at the actual camera itself. All right, here it is. And there it is. So, is there any damage? Let's see here. I don't see any damage. Is there any scratches? Well, I do see a little fingerprint, right? Little smudge right there. So let me uh, let me see if that smudge comes off. I'll just use my little towel right here. Hold on. Yes, and the smudge did come off. It was just uh, probably just like a fingerprint. Um, let's open this up. I don't see anything broken in there either. And um, of course, the camera is supposed to do this kind of thing. Okay, so it feels new, it looks new, it had a little smudge which was just from a fingerprint or somebody touched it because they do say they open it up and look at it. And um, yeah, so there you go. That's a gray market camera. Okay, so let me talk a little about gray market. Um, why did I go with the gray market? Well, I never really thought about it originally. Now with the gray market, yes, there is no warranty. They say there's a warranty, but the bottom line is something goes wrong. There's going to be no warranty. Well, I've had a few cameras and none of them ever had any problems. Now, I bought this iPod here from Japan. I was actually in Japan and I bought this. So this is technically also a gray market because I went to Japan, bought it in Japan. All they did was change the language to English, which I could have figured that out, but they knew that I wanted it in English, so they just went in there and changed the language. So this technically is a gray market. I bought this several years ago. Never had any problems. Also, I went to a website called Woot, W-O-O-T dot com. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Woot website, but I bought a Samsung 40-inch 3D TV. Um, at the time I bought it, I did not know it was a gray market TV. I thought it was American. Didn't even think twice about it. I bought it and when I turned it on it was for Africa. Now what was the difference between Africa and the United States? Not a thing. There was some couple of African apps in the Smart Hub but that was about it. So and that TV sure didn't have a warranty either. I didn't even think about it until you know this camera, but I've never had any problems with that TV. So let's talk about this camera because that's what we're focusing in on. So I bought it on eFinity, saved a few hundred bucks, and your questions are going to be, okay, what about the warranty? I just discussed the warranty. There's going to be no warranty. So if something is broken, I'm kind of screwed, but I'm going to put the battery in and turn it on and we'll see. The other thing probably you're going to be asking is firmware updates. Well, once I get all this set up, I will check to see if I can update this camera. I don't see why you could not update this camera. So let's see if I can't just put the battery in and turn it on. So let me put the lens in. 
we're going from white dot to white dot. I'm assuming I've had Canon cameras. Okay, so now that's on. Looks really nice. And we're going to put the battery in. Let's see, I don't have a memory stick yet. I ordered a memory stick, but you know, we're not here to take pictures. So I just opened the door and I am going to stick the battery in. And this is going to be my new vlogging. You know, there's even a little uh, little sticker here. So I'm pretty sure this is an original Canon battery. So I'm going to put this bad boy in. Let's see, did I put it in right? Give me a second here, guys. Let's see here. There we go. Now the battery's in. We'll close this door. Let's go. And now I'm going to turn it on and see if there's any battery life at all to see what it's going to say. Is it going to blow up? Is it going to be in English? Is it going to be in Chinese? Let's see. There it is. So we'll just set the date here, it's the 28th, hold on, what am I doing here, oh, okay, and let me see what time it is, it is 4.56, Oh, now it says London. Let's see if we can't change that. Paris. Let's see if we can't change that to United States. Do they have a United States in here? Los Angeles. Well, I'm in Los Angeles, so there you go. Daytime is set, and this is all in English. Press and hold the switch and rotate to unlock. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Hold on, let me uh, release. There we go, I just released. So, to me it's working, I don't have a, cannot record because I don't have a memory stick, but there you go. It fully functions. And um, I don't see one problem with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the battery. I'm going to get the memory stick. Maybe take some pictures. Well, I need a memory stick so I can uh, record so you can see the difference between this camcorder that I'm using, which I'm not going to use anymore, because this will be my vlogging, vlogging camera. And so far, let me turn this off. So far, everything looks normal. Look, bottom line is Canon's going to give you a one-year warranty. After the one-year warranty, there's no other warranty. Do I care about warranty? I've never had any problems with my cameras. Knock on wood, knock on top, knock on whatever. Hopefully there's going to be no problems, but there's my gray market EOS Canon M6. So let me set it up. I'm going to do a recording on it, and you'll see, and I'll tell you about the firmware update also. See you in a bit. Okay, so I've been playing with this camera for the past couple of weeks since uh, I've opened the box. And when I first started this first part of the video, I was like a kid in a candy store, and I didn't get all my thoughts straight. Let me um, talk about something that I should have talked about in the first part, which was duty tax. Well, I'm not a duty tax expert, but from what I've learned and read is if the company ships other than FedEx, then you could possibly be getting mailed a tax for the price of the item. So I was on eBay looking at these cameras and I actually emailed these people to say, 
hey is there a duty tax on this item and they didn't really clearly answer my question so when I went to eInfinity and I emailed them about do you do I have to pay duty tax on this item they email me back say no the price on the website is the only price you're going to pay and then after I started researching they were talking about FedEx versus DHL and other couriers which could have a duty tax so my opinion on duty tax is I would email the company and to see what they say if you don't like their answer then move on to another company also I'd like to talk about firmware and also registering the camera so I downloaded Canon's software and the camera did read in the software but when I had registered the camera it said camera could not be found so I could not register it to me it's not that big of a deal my SL1 I never registered it and with the firmware update I have not found a firmware update on the M6 so unless somebody knows about a firmware update that I'm not aware of so far I can't answer that question also let me when I started looking through all of this stuff let me tell you what I found what I like what I don't like and anyway so this this manual is only in English I believe the American manuals has different languages and the book is like three times as thick as this so just something to be aware of when I looked at the box the serial number on the side matches the serial number on the camera so that was a good thing now for the battery it is an original genuine genuine battery from Canon so that's good now let me talk about this wall charger this is um, the negative part of the gray market so the wall chargers number if you could see here let me it is the LCE 17 E the American version would not have the E so I believe all Canon outside of USA uses this E charger so what's the difference is instead of having the outlet where it pops out you have to use a cable that goes in here now what they gave me was this American style cable and this thing looks so freaking cheap look at this so I am not happy at all with this cable so yes I can go online I'm gonna set this cable to the side because I'm not gonna put them back to normal is yes I can buy a cable but I went on eBay and I found the American charger where it doesn't have this input just has the flip up and so I'll have an extra one and it was only like twenty dollars so it wasn't that big of a deal to charge the other thing I found is when I turned on the camera when I went to the video setting actually the, the battery is not in so I can't show you but when I went into the video setting I noticed it was on PAL versus NTSC so when you get if you buy a gray market make sure the video is set to N NTSC so you could record the standard USA version so all in all what do I think I think I saved myself a few couple of hundred bucks going on gray market I am very happy this is a solid construction in fact I should just put the battery in and there is no problems whatsoever with this camera whoops did I put it in backwards hang on there we go and um, so yeah if something goes wrong I'm screwed no warranty blah 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 but you know 
I've never had a batter, I've never had a camera that's gone down, knock on wood, like I said before. So everything else is just, there's the NTSC if you see. So the video system was set to PAL, and I just changed it to NTSC. Not even a big deal. Otherwise, everything has worked. I have taken it out. I am going to now record from this from the M6 so you could see the difference between what I've been using which has been a camcorder to the M6 then I'm going to show you some pictures and some outside video okay so now I'm recording from the M6 and you can hear and see what the M6 looks like this is what I was recording on some JVC nothing too great incredible but, you know, it, it did a job, it did what it needed to do, and so I just wanted to give you a quick video. So now I'm going to show you some pictures and some other videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.